All right, so welcome back to part two of Wasn't That Bad. Our, uh, you could say our season finale part two. Season part finale part two. And this is DCEU part two. And we're going to kick it off with Suicide Squad. Seriously, what the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys. It's what we do. Nothing really matters to me. That was Suicide Squad. They had Slipknot. The man who can climb anything. And guess who has the flag man's back? Katana? What's yeah, her name? this is Katana. She has, has my, my back. back. Her swords trap the soul, the victims of souls. I advise not crossing her. So when you first reviewed it, you actually liked it, didn't you? Yeah, I said that I loved it. It was the best movie in the DCEU, which watching it again in the theaters, I'm like, no, that's not true. It's still pretty good. Watching now, it's a mess, but it's okay. It's okay. I... I mean, I know a lot of people trash on it because of Joe. I, I'm still personally triggered that he was marketed to like seem like he had a bigger role in the film. Right. Um, and honestly, um, this movie's okay. Like, obviously, we have the infamous capture the flag line. Yeah, I mean, why even include Slipknot though? If you were just gonna, I guess to demonstrate that the bombs were like real inside the suicide. Right, but again, like he was an important character because he could climb anything. Yeah, he could climb over any obstacle. Had a lot of new snots to hunt people. Yeah, but um, do you want to get the negatives out of the way first? Um, I didn't really like the Joker. The Joker. What was that even? Uh, pretty much trash. I, I mean, other than two of the Suicide Squad members, the rest of them were kind of not memorable to me. Yeah, like besides maybe Captain was, Boomerang, Deadshot, and Harley Quinn. Maybe. Harley Quinn, maybe. Like none of them were memorable. Um, the villain, oh god, no, the villain's terrible. Why? Yeah, like it's. First of all, why would she, uh, Waller go out of her way to recruit all these other people when she has someone as powerful as Huntress in her? Enchant, yeah. Or uh, Enchantress. Yeah, or. like, easily, it's that's all she needs. Maybe, maybe Deadshot and Harley Quinn, but again, like, you're getting Harley Quinn, that's the girlfriend of the Joker. Yeah. And you can't trust her, so why go after Harley Quinn? Yeah, and then someone could just steal, like, the Katana person's sword, like... Yeah, um, Rick Flag is a useless like Captain mock, America. Useless, wannabe. yeah, useless. Like almost every battle scene he's in, literally he he, gets he captured. almost gets captured. He is probably one of the most useless heroes in the DCEU right now, besides Slipknot. Slipknot, <laughs> yeah. You know, um, hey, if they ever introduce Lazarus Pits to the DCEU, they could just revive Slipknot. Exactly. Um. Another thing that I don't like about this movie is the editing. Because um, yeah. the beginning was obnoxious. Well, why... <clears throat> yeah, it was... The soundtrack throughout was just kind of threw me off. Kind of annoyed me. Because it was me. trying to be like Guardians of the Galaxy. Even had one of the songs from the soundtrack. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. The um, ending was kind of ridiculous to me. Because it... <laughs> It's like it's obvious the Joker was still alive because they're not going to kill off probably the biggest villain, most known villain in the DC comics line. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I've said this in the previous part, but the uns I'm so frustrated with this film franchise because they're going to likely recast a lot of people after the Flashpoint movie. 
Right. Uh, Everyone except for probably Wonder Woman. Yeah. I hope they don't recast uh, Henry Cavill as Superman because he was legit good in that movie. I know that was, that's probably I liked that movie. I didn't have any problems with Man of Steel. I don't think um, I had any problems, but, but like, Suicide Squad though, right? Yeah, we're harping on it, but I feel like we do need to address a few positives. Um, for the most part, I feel like the action's pretty good when it's not terrible CGI. I like Will Smith's character. Will Smith was good. Uh, Margot Robbie was good. I think we both said this. The standout character is Captain Boomerang. Yeah, just brony, man. Just a brony. Like, why? Why is this guy just so entertaining in a movie that's... So dry. So dry and okay. Um... Obviously, I take back what I said. This is not the best movie in the DCEU. In fact, I think it's the worst so far that we've seen. Uh, Mainly yeah. due to the editing, the obnoxious soundtrack, and all the negative things we said. But I will say this about the movie. At least we only get joked for seven minutes and not about oh, three hours yeah. worth of freaking Lex Luthor. I, I still think Lex Luthor, who, what's the actor's name? Jesse Eisenberg. Is the most cringe person yeah. like in the franchise so yeah. far. Um, but yeah, that's our review of Suicide Squad. And now it's on to probably what people consider the best movie in the DCEU. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Captain America in World War One, the first Avenger in World War One. But he's a chick. But it's Wonder Woman instead, which can they have come up with a better story? Can they come up with a <coughs> better name than Doctor Poison? I mean, they all could use a little Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. Who couldn't? He couldn't have <coughs> helped Diane Prince climb things. Um, positives, Nolan. Um, some of the action's pretty good, except for the ending. Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. Uh -huh. He was pretty good. Um, what do you think of Gal Gadot? She's alright. Like, she's nothing wonderful. I mean, the action is standard for the most part, except for maybe, like, the No Man's land scene, but everything else, except for the ending... I think this movie was just, like, too hyped for me. It was way too hyped, and honestly, it's just kind of forgettable. Yeah. And they, spoiler alerts for those we haven't seen Wonder Woman yet. Yeah, Thanos kills Thor. Exactly. No, um... Stuffy British dude is Ares <laughs> in a terrible CGI suit. <laughs> it's so cringe. A lot of cringe, yeah. But, uh, I mean, I, I actually prefer Suicide Squad, if I'm going to be honest. Honestly, if I had to choose between this and Wonder Woman, I would watch Suicide Squad, mainly because it's kind of bad that it's enjoyable. Yeah. With this, it's just like, it's better, but it's just kind of boring. Yeah, that's right. pretty much all I got to say about it. All right, and next up is Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. Shall we? It's good to see you playing well with others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. Yeah! It was okay. 